Hello viewers and welcome to this video. We're going to talk a little bit about the crime, the latest crimes that have kind of been forgotten by the media. Uh, and we're going to first start off with, uh, I actually was able to find this story. News 12 does not have it on their website and I can't find it anywhere else. Uh, but only a 20 second story uh, shooting at one of the hotels in Carl Place. Uh, this has, um, this seems to be, it could be, this is the kind of people that are being put in these hotels. Violent, could be violent homeless people in there. Um, so uh, let's let's talk about that story right now, and uh, here's the video from it that I filmed off my TV because it's the only there's no n there's no other place that I can show uh, you know uh, show you this. Uh, News 12 doesn't have it on their website. A gunman on the loose tonight after a shooting at a Carl Place hotel. Nassau police say the shots rang out at the Spring Hill Suites on Westbury Avenue just before 2 a.m. Monday. A man was hit and suffered non-life-threatening injuries. His age and identity have not yet been released. Now, police have not said if they have any suspects or if anyone has been arrested. And police. But it happened uh, at the Homewood Suites here on Westbury Avenue, which isn't very far from Mineola. Um, from the border of Mineola. It happened right over here, uh, but there's no information on it. When I go into Google and I put the information on it, there's nothing available because we all know what they're dumping in these hotels. We all know that they're dumping the homeless in there. Uh, and, uh, and a lot of these people are violent. But if I put call play shooting in, nothing. I hit news, nothing. Nothing. So it's been covered up. Uh, we can't find any information. Uh, it's been covered up because they don't want you to know what's going on with the crime in the middle of the island because uh, this is this is what you get here with uh, the homeless coming in. New data shows Midtown has the most homeless hotels. You wonder why Midtown is full of vi uh, homeless people doing drugs and, and being violent around. around. It's because they're dumping all of them in these hotels here in Midtown. Midtown is getting treated like the middle of the island. Uh, they're just dumping them all here. Uh, and I'm sorry, I'm going to use the word dumping because that's what they are doing. Because this is what they dump in these hotels. This is what they dump. All right. And if we Google Jericho homeless, this is why people don't want these things in their neighborhood. All right. And luckily, uh, judge has now, uh, uh, a judge has now sided with the town. And luckily, they've, they've been able, the town of Oyster Bay, luckily, has been able to... Uh, uh, get a judge to block putting this uh, homeless shelter in. All right, these police. These let me explain something to you about these places. These people aren't watched. They are let out on the streets. You see what it's going on in New York City. The same thing's going to happen here. Um, this is what these places do. This is what they do. Let me talk about this shooting here. This happened in my old town, Westbury, which is not surprising. A uh, man shot dead on Union Avenue. So uh, there was a house party being held nearby. The Nassau County Police Department Homicide Squad is investigating an incident that occurred on Sunday, August 16th at 105 in Westbury. According to detectives, third precinct officers responded to the parking lot of 445 Union Avenue for a call of a person shot. Upon arrival, officers located a male with a gunshot wound. The victim was transported by a Nassau County Police Department ambulance to a local hospital where he was pronounced deceased. The location where the victim was found is in close proximity to a house party that occurred on the night of November 15th to November 16th. Uh, the investigation is ongoing. Uh, Nassau County property records list the address as vacant land in an industrial zone. So this is uh, pretty much the picture of uh, what it looked like. Now let's jump over to News 12's coverage, which uh, 33 seconds is all it got. And why am I not hearing anything? A call to a parking lot near 445 Union Avenue at around 1 this morning. When they got there, they found a man with a gunshot wound. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police say there had been... So they're pretty much not really... They didn't even bother sending a report reporter to the scene, which is, of course, ridiculous. But that's the way News 12 works uh, because it happened in Westbury. It didn't happen in uh, one of the uh, you know areas that where white people live. So I guess it doesn't count as news. Um, so I'll show you where it happened here. So it happened uh, right over in this area right here um, in Westbury. This is right by the Westbury train station, which is right over here, which is why I don't recommend using this train station. It's not safe. So listed as vacant land. So probably one of these areas here. Uh, you know, there are a lot of illegals, a lot of gangs here, uh, and it's not surprising that something like this would happen. But see, here's the train station, and... Uh, this is the area it happened in right over here. So, uh, again, not safe. Again, it did happen in the middle of the night, but still, 
Uh, you can see, judging by the kind of buildings you have over here, uh, it's it's not set, not a safe area. There are a lot, and I mean a lot of illegals in this area, a lot of gang activity. Uh, not a safe area at all. It's right on the border of Newcastle too. So, like I said, I'm not surprised this happened, but the news still should cover this and do a better job covering it. Uh, 33 seconds is not enough, because uh, especially when you go and you go to the News 12 website and you scroll down, and you say man faces l uh, murder. This app, there was a shooting in Levittown. But look at how much more coverage it gets. Um, he killed his wife, and this gets how much coverage? Two minutes. Two over two minutes it gets because it happened in Levittown, right? But if it happens in Westbury, Westbury, who cares, right? Because it happened in Levittown, where it's majority white, you know, and Levittown is starting to become part of the enclave, uh, so it gets more coverage. Uh, let's see, so the search for suspect continues for who exposed himself to two young girls in Merrick. So, again, if it happens on the South Shore, it gets two... Look at that. Two minutes and 47 seconds. All right. Uh, look, look at these people. I mean, you know what they, who they care about. You know, but if it's in the middle of the island or if it's in a diverse area, forget it. It doesn't, it doesn't count. Every time they do this, I'm going to call them out. Every single time. They need to be called out. All right? And that wasn't the only story they did. They also did this. They had this story, too. But meanwhile, if, so, if there's a shooting in Westbury, I guess the people, people in Westbury don't matter as much, right? So they don't matter as much. This crime here, Nassau man charged after four kittens beaten. This was right here in Mineola. So this is what I have living in my town. Uh, this guy has been indicted finally, and hopefully he stays behind jail. Uh, he stays in jail a long time. Um, and uh, this, again, right in Mineola, this guy was killing uh, cats and... Uh, it's it just disgusting, absolutely disgusting. Uh, then we have this, man shots, this this wasn't even covered on the news at all, I found this one. Man fires shots at vehicle on Northern Parkway in Nassau County. You're right? Shooting that occurred in broad daylight on a stretch of Northern State Parkway is under investigation. It happened around 1.30 p.m. Friday, August 14th, in the eastbound lanes near IU Willits Road. This would be IU Willits Road in North Hempstead. So a red Honda Accord stopped in the right lane when the passenger, identified as a black man, exited the vehicle and fired multiple shots, uh, multiple rounds, at another unknown vehicle. Uh, both the red Honda and the unidentified vehicle left the scene. So uh, this happened. I think they mean IU Willits Road. So it happened right here. Uh, again, not too far from Mineola. Uh, again, all, all these crimes are happening in the middle of the island. Uh, and they barely get covered. I, I mean, it, it just makes no sense. It just makes no sense what's going on. It's always all about these people on the South Shore, but the rest of us don't count for diddly squat. They do. So this, is what the, this is what's going on with the crime. Uh, and then we're going to talk about the housing market, uh, that well, some of the other things going on, some of the comments on the housing markets I've read, too. So curtains close, another uh, business in the middle of the island closing. Franklin Square uh, movie theater is not going to be reopening. Again, middle of the island. What else is new? Uh, this is, of course, due to the COVID shutdown. Uh, and then uh, this was not that far from the mall, I believe, the Walt Whitman Mall. White, White Castle to close. Uh, and they said, go to other uh, White Castle locations. Farmingdale, Massapequa, Comac, uh, Brentwood and Center Reach is also closed. Uh, uh, so most of the locations are on the South Shore. Um, again, they re redid the Lindbrook one. Uh, but they're closing their locations in the middle of the island. A lot of them are closing. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Again, because it's the middle of the island is just being forgotten about. And the North Shore, this is, well, this area of the Walman Moor, let's look at the middle of the island, not the North Shore. It's still the middle of the island, all right? So, here you go. Another business closed because, again, the middle of the island is being uh, turned into a wasteland. They want to dump all the problems here, dumping all the problems here. Um, so when you take a look at where, now you have a lot of people moving out of the city. This person made a post on Reddit saying they're on the western side of Nassau County and the signs here are not good. They, they don't see houses selling, probably because they're in the middle of the island. It's like houses are flying off the shelf in Islip. Uh, it's a tight market. Uh, um, market is still roaring by me, eastern end of Islip town. Eastern, even eastern Suffolk, so the east end uh, is hot too, all right? Islip, again, house on the water in Islip, East Islip. It's all about the South Shore. A lot of people are fleeing New York City to the suburbs. Um, and they're fleeing to certain towns with railroad access. Of course, they're going to want the Babylon branch or one of the South Shore lines. South Shore of Nassau, it's a massive seller's market. Um, 
It's all about the South Shore. I'm moving from Queens to Merrick. Nobody wants to be. Market is nuts in Merrick. Nobody wants to be on... I mean, nobody wants to be in the middle of the island. They all want to be on the South Shore or the North Shore. Um, and the middle of the island is just, you know, just forgotten, you know. It's just... And then here's another one. Pending home sales in Suffolk, Nassau spike. So you have all these people moving out of the city, but it's not helping the middle of the island. They're only going to the areas that are already considered okay. Uh, that are already considered safe. So the, the remaining safe havens on Long Island are just going to be snatched up by these, these, these rich people moving out of the city, fleeing the problems there, while the middle of the island is just being forgotten. Uh, you know, They're not interested in the middle of the island. They all want to be on the South Shore or the North Shore. Mainly the South Shore, but the North Shore too is desirable. But the middle of the island, forget about it. It's just, you know, it's just, it, it, it's just we're being forgotten here. And the crime, and, and, and then you have the, home, the dumping of the homeless, and these hotels, uh, Homewood Suites, you know, they're dumping them in these hotels here. And nobody's talking about it. And that's probably why the story has been covered up by the news, because uh, probably these homeless people that were involved in the shooting, they're being housed at, the, at this hotel probably. You know, and, and they're, they're putting them in here. Uh, they're putting them in a lot of these hotels. This is not a place you put violent homeless people. The ones that aren't violent, okay, but the ones that are violent need to be in jail. All right? That's where they need to be. They need to be in jail. They shouldn't be out on the streets, ruining the neighborhoods, dumping them in the middle of the island. It's not fair. You know? But this is all just part of the discrimination. Going. Oh, yeah, we have this one, too. Brooklyn man associated... Yeah, this one, too. This happened, too. Third squad reports the arrest of a Brooklyn man for criminal possession of stolen property. July 31st, 410 in Mineola. He was on... Uh, parked... He was a suspicious male attempting to break into cars and residences. Uh, this guy's from the city. So, again, these problems from the city are moving out here. Moving out here. How do you like that, huh? How do you like that? This place, they're trying to save it. Hildenbrands. I told you Williston Park is in trouble. So, they're trying to save it. Hopefully, it can be saved. It's another middle of the island town that's in trouble. There's 12 covered this. Let's see. This is August 12th. Let's see how much time they spent on this. This is a knife point robbery in Carl Place. 25 seconds, that's it. But the South Shore gets two minutes, of course. Well, what more can I tell you guys? I, I'm going to keep talking about this because, the, 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 you know, I am the mainstream media. i got to do the media's job because the media is not doing their job covering what affects the people in the middle of the island. You know, we deserve to be recognized. We deserve to be heard. We deserve to know what's going on in our communities. So there you go, some of the crime that, uh, that uh, has not really been reported too well in the mainstream media that we deal with here in the middle of the island, of course. Uh, and that's not to say there hasn't been crime on the South Shore, but most of the crime seems to be taking place in the middle of the island. And we all know why that is. It's because it's the most diverse part of the island. It's the most, you know, blue-collar or middle-class work part of the island. And it's the only place uh, of part of the island, the, uh, you know, the, especially people who have disabilities and seniors are allowed to live. We're not allowed to live on the South Shore, uh, you know. And instead, there are people that group us in there uh, you know, I've had people tell me, well, you have a disability, so, uh, you know, you, should, you, you, you get to live with all the problems because you're disabled, you know. Why, just because I'm disabled, why should I have to live in the town with, with sex offenders, ex-cons, and violent homeless people? That's ridiculous. Um, nobody should have to live in those kind of places because those kind of people should be in jail, they should be in institutions, and they shouldn't be out on the street. Uh, but instead... It's just put in the communities uh, that can't fight back. Uh, and that's exactly what we see here on Long Island time and time again. And it's not fair, but we all know it's part of the end game to you know, push us out and make us live in a place like New Jersey, which I don't ever want to have to live in New Jersey, all right? So many reasons why. But, the, the, you know, the, they don't care. The powers that be don't care. It's all about these preppy white finance professionals sitting pretty in their enclaves on the South Shore, uh, and the rest of us, especially in the middle of the island, are, are forgotten and treated like dirt. And uh, we're tired of the, of the poop being dumped in our towns. We're tired of it. Uh, you know, it, it's ridiculous. We're tired of the poop. Uh, you know, how about having the poop in your town instead? How about that? You know, how about that? You know, uh, you know I mean, this is not fair to, the, fair to us what's happening. Um, yes, it, I feel that if they're homeless people that have criminal records, then they need to be in jail, period, all right? If, they, if, they, if you want to live a life of crime, then you can live your life in jail. It's that simple, all right? Um, you know, belong in jail, and, and so the rest of us can be safe, all right? 
But these these people like Bill de Blasio, like Laura Curran, uh, that let these criminals out of jail, uh, they they don't care as long as it doesn't affect their own kind. Uh, and uh, when it does affect their own kind, and they do move into the, into those into what was formerly you know part nice parts of Manhattan, those people are just going to move into other enclaves. Um, you know, so this is what goes on. Um, but I'll tell you this, uh, I'm going to keep fighting again. I'm going to keep talking about this as long as I can, because I'm sure as hell don't want to have to live in New Jersey just to be safe. It's ridiculous. I'm demanding that these dangerous people put be, be put back in jail where they belong, uh, and the, the ones that are dangerous need to be in institutions. The rest of us, we all deserve to be safe. Those who break the law belong behind bars and in institutions, all right? It's not fair that the rest of us have to deal with these problems. They belong in jail. I don't care what, what color their skin is. I don't care where they came from. But if they want to break the law, then they can be in jail. That's the way it needs to be. We need to start laying the law down once again. Anyway, that's it for this video. Take care and thank you for watching.